Stop being so sensitive, bitch! <laughs> Ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina. World, are y'all ready? When this sound begin, we about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch, yeah You ain't never seen a soul like this Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss, yeah Cause you ain't never seen no show like this It's on. it's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Can't see it because you a blind motherfucker. <laughs> five one five O oh, is in the motherfucking house. You dig what I'm saying? This is the Corey Oak 5150 show with motherfucking OG Darlene Ortiz. Motherfucking. You know Marcus in this motherfucker. We done made some enemies and we made a lot of friends. Give a fuck. Fucking it all even out the way it's supposed to even out. I'm saying, I, I look right when I got here. We up here at the Coin Academy, home of the Ball of Podcast. Mm-hmm. Man, laid out, laid out. Them was upstairs. They was trying to show me something. I really was like, no, I'm in a hurry. I'm gonna watch it after the show. Then they was like, no, cut it on now. And then I was like, all right, let me watch it. It was my little brother Kendrick Lamar video. God damn it, where he was motherfucking changing faces and everything on the shit, and he changed it. Mike to problems. All the, hold on, hold on. He changed it to all the right faces. Wait, can uh, they hear Corey? Grab the mic from the middle, not from the bottom of the thing. Is that working it? Is that making it work? All right, 5150, we back up in the motherfucking house. Sound is a little off. Whatever, goddammit. This motherfucker, I ain't used to holding shit like this. Yeah. You sound like you talking to a girl in bed. <laughs> what? You gotta be careful how you hold that thing. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, oh bitch with God. big T. Go on. Oh. Now check this out, man. My little brother Kendrick Lamar got a video out that I just, man, I've seen people like when I when when, when they brought it up, I was like, man, he original. And he was like, no, they motherfuckers made the faces already. Like I remember the Michael Jackson black and white video. But let me tell you something. The lyrics Kendrick Lamar dropped in this video, man. In this song, man, it may like sometimes when you hear people, man, it it raises the bar where it's very difficult to listen to other people. I mean, sometimes dance music ain't, ain't got to be all intricate like that. But right. I'm just saying, with the, with the young rappers, man, I I just want to be, I just want some shit to make me go, oh, all right, all right. But a lot of times it be motherfucking predictable ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But my brother Kendrick. Boy, that motherfucker was bad lyrically. I could tell you put some motherfucking real thought into that motherfucker, man. 
They said what? All of them. They said all of them sound bad. Oh, did they? Is that what they said? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah! Anyway. <laughs> now they really don't sound bad. Did you hear that? Look, bad mics, change mics. They're still saying. Are they talking about ours or are they talking about just Everyone. Yours? Somebody said all of them. Well, I mean, it is what it is, man. We, 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 if we fucked up, we fucked up. I mean, sound going in and out, Corey. Uh, Fisher Price Mike got What kind of mic is this? Fisher Price Mike. It's, no, I'm just saying, it's like, uh, who mics are these? These ain't ours, are they? That's what I thought. Oh, no, oh I'm it's the receiver. Anyway, all y'all motherfuckers talk about these mics. It's trash. Fuck y'all niggas, man. Listen to this motherfucking shit. Yo, off the top of the dome, your Uh-oh. mama throat is chrome. That's why I get on bone and sit on my throne. Every time she come over, it's on. Kendra got you all in a mood, huh? <laughs> yeah, he got all worked up. He's all worked up. Why you ain't using a comb? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need one, because your shit gone. <laughs> Somebody say, come on, Corey look like a, a, cool, a cool youth faster. Y- y'all, see <laughs> Corey, y'all see Corey new haircut? <laughs> yeah, tell him to touch to the side. Yeah, nigga, like Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Wait a second. He <laughs> got a Woody Woodpecker haircut. <laughs> you cut a lot of hair off. Why'd you do uh, that? I cut my hair off. I had to start it over and shit. I you know didn't. What I mean? well, no, I don't. I just wanted to start it over, God damn it. Y'all know I'm I sexy. Like the pros. <laughs> it was, it was Nobody hard. here, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Me and you, yeah. <laughs> I want to do it, do it, do it. Marcus, I like your haircut too, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, I cut off a lot of my hair. Shit, I, I at first I was, I was trying to bush it out, but my motherfucking weird ass fro. I was like, start this shit over. Just give me the slope at the top. You should have got you in the fade, man. Don't tell me nothing about him. <laughs> <laughs> nothing about him, boy. Somebody said the cut looked like a leather rugby helmet. <laughs> what? A leather rugby helmet? What? I don't get it. I don't either. The old school it one? Looked like, it looked like it was his hands. It did your shit. You know? <laughs> Y'all, my hair cut raw. <laughs> Barber hatchet job. <laughs> Just get a ball face. Oh, some, somebody said, I like it, Corey. See? That cut looked like a... I think I think I think you just didn't call it. It's a duck on your head. Yeah. <laughs> fuck y'all niggas, dog. It's That's looking cool. rough on your head. Uh-oh. Fuck all y'all mamas when I come to town. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> Boy, you got the Grace Jones. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Get the Keith Sweat. That is true. Uh, <laughs> I want to see you. Octagon here inside of the game. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to look somebody up. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, we signified, huh? <laughs> I can't. Okay. All right, let's talk this shit, man. First of all, um, I got to say this shit. Um, I don't know if y'all into this shit. The Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial. I ain't, I ain't updated with it, but I'm familiar. Mm-hmm. Let me I'm tell y'all you. something, man. This bitch did cocaine in the courtroom. You oh, yeah, I seen too? that video. You I saw that, that too? I really believe that too. Unbelievable. How the fuck this bitch get away with that shit? Mm-hmm. If that was right. somebody I know, mm-hmm. them motherfuckers would have had the paper examined and everything. She had a little bit more color. They'd have got it out the stool. Yeah. These bitches get to come to court and do cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, man? Mm-hmm. How the fuck you get to come to court and do cocaine? Man, mm-hmm. fuck the system. The system work. For Caucasian folk, Caucasian folk get to come to court and beat everything, murders, all kind of shit. And the rest of us sit through this shit and motherfucking get hung. Don't ever tell me nothing about voting and all that sucker ass shit. If you want to get into the system to do what you got to do, get into the system to do what you got to do. But don't look down on a motherfucker who motherfucking ducked the system, pimped the system, worked the system. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that shit. Even when they get in the 
Pharisees and they got to follow the procedure. You can't come in there motherfucker and make your own rules. God damn right, motherfucker. I know if I was at a job and some motherfucker who I know is a whole ass motherfucker says something to me about what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, that shit would go bad. Yeah, no, that's terrible. I will even say this. If I work for Caucasian people, I'm not even going to lie. I would probably steal. If I worked for somebody black at my age now. But you wouldn't have to do it now. I, mean, I wouldn't like, steal because I, 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 it's somebody that I know is up against it all. But the people that came here and robbed and pillaged and all that shit and ain't never paid for it, if I work for you, if I'm gonna beat you, if I could beat you, I'll probably beat you. I'm just saying. You gotta get your own reparations out here. That's why I don't work. I wouldn't, man, look, I'll be jammed up. I'll be fucked up. Cause I know this bitch did cocaine in the courtroom and motherfuckers ain't did shit about the motherfucking shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. That ain't how it's supposed to go. I don't think I think just certain people just ain't meant to exactly. work no job, man. Crocodile tears. Some people yeah, just she's putting on the best act of her life. I, I watch so many bitches fake Sorry. cries and the tears don't come out their eyes. I wait on it. I didn't have bitches in my face. <laughs> Nothing. I'm like, well, what are tears? <laughs> I be waiting on tears. My eyes are tearing up right now only because, them, them, because I just put makeup you on. So damn That's because you blind, dude. No, I just put eyeliner on, silly, and rushed in here. Okay, if that's what you want to say. Them, them judges be so damn gullible for them white women, too, boy. They, they really, oh. they really gullible. Yeah, yeah but those, those Anything. Two, they, they have a past, man. They have, man. Hey, they have a, ooh. Man, that shit run deep, man. I, I can't fuck with it. I ain't got no respect for the system at all. I would run. I would flee. I would, I, I would, I'd be somewhere in motherfucking Tasmania somewhere. <laughs> If that's is that a place? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, you look like devil. Uh -oh, but yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Well, your yeah. arms finna be wet in a few minutes. <laughs> if they, they wet already. No, yeah. they, How long this show started? Hey, hey, hey. How long has this it's show dark, started? It's dark under there. This, this, no, that's, that's wet that's juice. That's, <laughs> that's funky it's ass dark Arkansas purple. slave baby juice. It's dark, it's dark purple. <laughs> this motherfucker sweating. We ain't been in here ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus tells nothing. You, you got, the, you got, you know, you look more and more like, uh, you look more and more like Sean, uh, what's his name? He got that haircut. Who? What's the one that, who they say you look like? Sean Larkins. You like, you got that Sean Larkins haircut. Huh? <laughs> you about Sean from Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> well, he actually from Detroit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Spent yeah. a lot of time in Atlanta. Yeah, he cut a lot. Yeah, moved out here. I cut off almost all my hair. Good, I know. You got it. You know you you know it's li going leaning forward, don't you? Yeah, it's a slow. It's a. Sl <laughs> this is the last haircut you can have. <laughs> All <laughs> when my hair is high, your hair is gone. Wait, uh, <laughs> I'm not. He makes. I'm not. It must. It must. You can do a backward slope. You want to do a slope? You got to do it back. You'll be receding from the back. <laughs> yeah, you cut your own hair. I cut my own hair. We can tell. Shut up. Bruh. <laughs> Leslie Jones cut. Fuck y'all. <laughs> so your haircut look like abortion left over. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it look like fish, fish rocks up there. <laughs> who haircut like this who say? You got the Fantasia? Yeah. That's, Fantasia. It. That's, That's it. That's it. I can't. If you don't Somebody want said me, it. don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Will Downing, but. Oh, God, I cannot. Oh, oh. Lori got a Fantasia cut. Oh. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Color green, yeah. I don't know none of Fantasia music except this goes out to all the baby moms. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's your boy, man, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my hair with an axe. That's a good one. Now, that, that, somebody said Corey face long than a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're long. They're long. They're <laughs> yeah. long right now. They got a got six, eight nigga face. <laughs> oh, damn it. My face hurts already. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at what they saying. Fuck y'all, man. Oh. Shirley sees a hot time. Oh. Fuck y'all, <laughs> <laughs> hey, did did uh smoking smoking Norfolk hands out like that? Who? Oh, Robinson, smoking Robinson, smoking Robinson. I don't know 
Oh, that Ooh, video. Hoes. What's that video he hey, did? Hey, Smokey, I uh, fuck more hoes than you. I ain't gonna lie. Thank Mr. Stewart, Stewart, thanks for that yard, boy. We needed that motherfucker, Ooh. goddammit. What's that, what's that drug uh, video he did? Who? Oh. Smokey Robinson. I don't know. Which one? You, you, you about the latest one? Yeah, you, had, you used to come out to it. Oh. I ain't never came out to it. <laughs> 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 No, but I was gonna say. Oh. Uh, piece I know her. I, well, I know her. But. You knew her? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. We was talking about we the singer Jewel. Yeah. R.I.P. Singer Jewel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 man, I'm here. Oh. oh Death oh, Row before oh, your yeah. time, Marcus. Okay, yeah. Okay. But if you hear a few songs, you'll go, "Oh, that's who was singing." Everybody our age yeah. know that shit, cause back then it was enough CDs that came out where you knew people music real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was like featuring on a lot of people though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Death Row's definitely. Yeah. What's what, like what song? Very she sweet. did this song. Big, big, big dimple. Woman to woman. That was actually her. That was actually. Yeah. Her you, you, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. You're talking about the old school one because you know that was done way uh, back in the days. Oh. How you know he talking about the old school one and he wasn't alive there? He talking about the right one. Oh, you really think so? How did woman it go? to woman. See. Marcus That's how Lowe? the first one goes. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only part I know, too. You're talking about a song from Death Row back in the day, right? He don't know. I don't know if that was on Death Row. Oh, no. oh, well, maybe you're right, D. Let me shut up. Okay. Anyway, you know, you know, you know, anyway the sister got sick, and um, Rest peace. she passed on, man. This is a cold world, man. Y'all y'all enjoy life while you still here, boy. All y'all motherfuckers. They saying it was that shit? Granted. No, it wasn't that no. shit. She had just... Unfortunately, some of us get sick and we get diagnoses and we mm-hmm. got an idea when we we gonna pass on. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes you don't. To be honest, see. to be honest, that's the debate: is it better to know or is it better not to know? No, but if it's if it, yeah, if you're gonna have like a if they tell you like a few months or maybe even a year, sure, why not? Because then you can really make, if you're still capable of moving about, why not? Because then you're probably able to hopefully do some things that. You know, you might not have uh, done before. No, we, I think he's what he's saying is, if they gave you a six month to live, would you rather know you have six months left or not know you have right. six months? And that's what I'm saying. I've dealt with a lot of people that have died, so I've kind of got the vibe from all of so them. So what we supposed to say? I dealt with people who died too. I'm saying like no, yeah. but I'm saying the the immediate. Are you saying like in, just like an instant death, like somebody just dies out of nowhere? I didn't had it all. I didn't have right. Who been sick. I didn't have. But people you're saying died. which would be better? Would you, would you would you rather know your basically? Would you rather know your death death date than yeah. you you would want to know your death yes. date? Yes. Yeah. Well, you don't know the I death can, date, but if you sick terminally, yeah. I guess it's better if you know because then you can pop all them motherfuckers you don't give a fuck about. I don't know why. I was not I, thinking that, but okay. Man, look, it's some motherfuckers out here, boy. If I know I'm about to be gone, that's your ass, nigga. Man. That's your ass, oh, nigga. No, boy, it's some motherfuckers out here. If I, knew I was long, finna, if I knew I was finna be gone. Is it long? I'll fight that murder because I know I'm, I'm shit, nigga, whatever y'all do to me, I don't give a fuck. That mean you finna live, you finna live fucked up for the uh, rest of the other six months? No, oh. if you got money, you ain't in jail. You don't go to jail when you got money until it's just, okay, well, you got to start serving it when you want to turn yourself in. You don't know what happened? This ain't regular nigga shit. Oh, <laughs> Niggas no. go to jail immediately. Niggas who motherfucker got some money, they could beat the go to jail right away game. That's how it go. You know about that. Yeah. Like when my dad knew he was going to die within four to six months, um, he started handling some things that he probably wouldn't have handled either at all or within that time period. So, so most people that, that, that you know, know that death date is usually, you know, terminally, terminally ill in the hospital and shit, and then they give them a certain, certain amount of time. I'd rather drop. Than, than be sitting in the hospital dying, mm. knowing I'm about to die. No, I don't know. And you yeah. know what? It, it, uh, to me, it makes it easier, uh, a little easier on your loved ones as well, because then they get to, people that maybe hadn't come around you get to spend some time. If, with I, if I was wilting in front of my loved ones, I would probably get ghosts. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I sent them a letter. Yeah, I don't want y'all to see me just wilt away until I'm not. What? I'd rather be out here or even deal with the with pain. A bitch I don't give a fuck. I was gonna say I'd rather go out like Kevin Samuels. They can go out on top of a bitch. Speaking of shit. <laughs> speaking speaking oh, of Kevin Samuels. 
Well, <laughs> Speaking of Kevin Samuels, like I'm, that, I mean, we, we transition into that weird. But <laughs> yeah. We have to talk about Kevin Samuels and the effect that he wow. has because I think his biggest gift happened um, this week. And it's unfortunate that his biggest gift to everybody happened this week. I never was one to listen to him too much because I felt like he had a taste for men. And it threw me off. Mm -hmm. Like, it's something about once I know that you prefer a man in your mouth, it's just a little, <laughs> it, it kind of throw me off to you. Like, it don't make me hate you. I'm not that kind of guy. Right. But it makes it hard for me to listen to you and look at you talk. Yeah. When I know you got a taste for men. So that was my whole thing with Kevin Samuels. One day I heard him asking some man, hey, you got a big dick? No, I got a, Cause I got a big dick. He, this is what, what he said to some oh, dude. See, I, ain't, oh, I ain't know you. I, I ain't heard I, that I, interview. I never listened to him I, at when all. When I heard it, I was yeah. like, he flirting with dude. I ain't, yeah, I ain't know. I ain't know. Now that ain't no diss to the brother right because there. the brother has passed, and I want to talk about what this world has done. I mean, you know, yeah. since the brother passed, mm -hmm. I mean, he uprooted. The shit I've been saying for years. Mm -hmm. And let me say this proudly. Y'all got that camera ready? Which one? I'm right here, right? Can I get a close-up? I just want them to see me when I say this because the world needs to see my face when I say this right here. I ain't the first one to say this. One of the greatest rappers of all time, Snoop Dogg, said this. I thought it was a great song that will always stand the test of time. But we good. Just let me say this. Y'all ready? You got it? Bitches ain't shit. <laughs> oh, brother. Bitches ain't <laughs> shit. Y'all yeah, do coming. Oh, <laughs> oh funky ass bitch. The worst thing God put on this earth. <laughs> it ain't nothing. Bitches are worse than, than AIDS. <laughs> oh, shit. Bitches what? are worse than what cancer. Are you talking about? Bitches destroy everything. I hope that you remember this. Everybody who identifies with a funk ass bitch, I'm talking to you. But that's the problem, Corey, is that they don't. Who is the that? The ones that need, when you said if you identify with them, that's the problem is that they don't see, they don't see the, the ones that The reason I know they identify with a funky bitch because they was talking shit about my brother when he passed. Right, that's terrible. That's how you know they know he talking about them. And that's terrible. That was terrible. Big yeah. face ass Vivica Fox. Oh, no, she no, didn't say nothing. No, she did not. Look did at this funk ass something? hoe. Oh, my God. Oh. Say he got his karma. Bitch, your face is carved up because you hate yourself. He talk about bitches that hate they self. Oh, That's I why you believe. carved your face up. You hate yourself. Bitches know when you talking about them. They act like they don't know. Oh, but when something yeah, happened, yeah. unfortunately, to a brother, them bitches celebrate it because they hate they self. Come I mean, the man, on, would just say, the man was just giving his opinion. You, you say you don't believe she said that? You can change the channel. What? You cannot. He said she don't believe she said you No, said I'm, I'm just appalled. No, oh, I'm, not okay, saying, okay. I'm not saying, oh, I'm, not saying oh, I'm not saying like, oh, my God, she couldn't say. No, I'm like, what? Any I'm, black I'm woman who carve her face up like that is a fucking hater of self. That's yeah, sad. man, you, that's you, you went from right. looking how you look at the jigsaw. You don't, like the, you don't like what the man says. Don't watch. <laughs> How you say that shit? I would like to play a game. I would like to play a game. <laughs> I would like to play a game, face ass bitch. <laughs> you don't get your goof ass out of here, bitch. You and all them folky ass hoes on the internet who sit up literally. Listen, let me tell you what these hoes do. It is the most discouraging thing in the world. These hoes literally put on a costume and sit in front of their camera all day taking pictures, acting like their life is glamorous when we know you are starving, gas money, needing, raggedy <laughs> ass killer of your baby bitch. <laughs> the fuck is you laughing because a man passed? 
Yeah, that's some evil shit. Bro. I want to know what he said. Now, he was very sarcastic. He wasn't that good of a comedian, if you ask me, because he didn't have a joke to it. Yeah. I don't it think hurt he, him. Was he trying to? I have never listened to the guy ever. I don't, I don't, I don't know if he was trying to. A lot of people listen to him. Uh, no, I know that. He was he blunt as fuck. I've never. He was, I, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was extremely blunt. You know what I mean? He ain't hold back from the clips I see. I never really just watched his uh, in, in full episodes. From the clips I seen, he just. He just kept it how he, he kept it real how he felt about it. He kept it real, and he 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 gets he was some truths though. A lot of I was just gonna say truth. the like, message that he had was too much for these hoes out here. These hoes hate themselves, and when you remind them who they are, I'm telling you, one day when we was way back at the motherfucking old place, remember the first place, D? I told you, I after, I cracked the joke after Foxhole. After Foxhole, when we was over there on Riverside. Oh, in the, the valley still. I cracked a joke about some fat bitch. All these hoes was talking about me. Yeah. Like they knew me, and I, it was a joke. I was like, man, these bitches ain't shit. Yeah. That's the sign of the time. But see, then he would say shit Everybody like. Everybody is taking it. Uh, they're too sensitive. Say, and it's words. It's words. You don't like what the man has to say. I, like I said, all I heard was certain things about him, and I was like, ooh, I'm not going to check him. I just never, I never. I came up with my name for these women. Hmm. They're all overstock bitches. You ever go to the grocery store and you see that shit for 25 cent and 49 cent? Oh That's the shit corporate wouldn't let them throw in the dumpster. They say, put a cheap price on the shit and hope somebody want it. That's these hoes. And see, the problem, what they didn't like about him, because he, he would bring them down to reality. And he would let them know that. You know what I mean? Like if a chicken call him, like, yeah. I make six figures a year, you know, and I want me a man to make six figures a year, look good, body good, and I want him only to deal with me and be, and he'd be like, that you ain't being realistic. Don't, These bitches that, ain't bringing nothing children. to the relationship but blueback pussy and some other nigga kids. <laughs> I'm talking about these hoes ain't worth shit. And of course you're going to have your conspiracy theorists because everybody's giving their own take on what they believe. Happened. No, when the, the man, man died, it died. was them bitches' chance to go on there and talk shit about the dead. You're not even raised right. Do you know when you talk shit about the dead for real? That is foul. You don't even good. know you foul. Well, you're validating a lot of the things he was talking this about. This is the thing, though. I can understand if the nigga did some weird shit, like some nigga was a pedophile, you know, raping kids and shit. That nigga ain't do none of that. He didn't do nothing. He fucked niggas. Oh, I don't, I don't well, know what that man did on me. I'll show you this clip. Okay. I bet you be pretty sure it is. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Like I say, that don't make me hate him. It just make me hard to tolerate what he talk about because uh. almost every motherfucking man I know who fuck men, soon as they get that chance to get comfortable around you, they say some shit to make you got to check them. Yeah. That's just what I've seen, but I'm just saying, yo, I ain't talking ill on the man. I'm just saying, I, this is what I saw, goddamn it. And it's so sad that his mom found out on the on the internet before the authorities even had a chance to tell her. Oh, man. Women are mad because they want to be seen as independent, mature adults, but have but have accountability as children. Huh? Hmm. That's what he called them. Well, I get what he's saying right there. Bitches want to act like they beat the game. You didn't beat the game. You hustled the game. It's very rare that a motherfucker is going to be able to tolerate a raggedy-ass bitch. A bitch will come in your life and try to redirect your life, and you could be on top of the world. <laughs> Literally. You could come pick the bitch up in a Rolls Royce. A bitch you found at the bus stop. Before you know it, that bus stop hopping heifer is going to be telling you what the fuck you supposed to do. You'll be like, wow, this bitch is serious. She really think I'm the one who fucked up. I, I'm just saying, man, all you women out there, you have to look for victims, men who haven't been in a situation with you or your mama or the mama before that. You have to hope you find a man that's green. Men who are wise enough to see how the average bitch move, we already know that you ain't shit, but we savages, so we fuck you scallywags. And it put us in a motherfucking bad spot. But it don't matter. 
Kevin Samuels wasn't fucking all you ragged ass hoes, but you all got something to say about him, don't you? It's called envy because he found a way running his mouth. The shit you doing running your mouth ain't doing nothing but showing motherfuckers you a raggedy ass, bum ass bitch. Look at your life. Look at the kids you killed. It was Mother's Day. Huh. Sunday. How many kids did you kill, bitch? It's called abortion. Bitch, you want to be celebrated as a mother. And motherfucking, it's a child. If he could speak, he'd be like, that bitch ain't fuck with me and I ain't do nothing to her. Shut the fuck up, raggedy bitches, and get your life together. You are part of the Caucasian's plan to destroy the world. It's called human haters. Last night in front of the improv, some dyke bitch was telling me about the motherfucking world. I knew the bitch ate pussy when she was talking. Is that the real world? This bitch had blonde hair. Oh, no, no. This bitch looked like straight up Herman Monster. Oh, Lord. Dead ass. Only way you would know what I'm talking about if you see it. This yeah. was, she was a big bitch. Oh, face okay. bigger than mine. And look at my face. <laughs> I definitely ain't seen that. She must have had a mask on. That bitch left. Face bigger than yours, nigga. But she talk about what men do and all like that. But she eat pussy. I'm like, bitch, how is you talking about? Yes, she. I asked her. She could not deny it. The bitch had blonde hair. What is that? Is it like? That's a lot of most bald bald head, blonde head bitches. I was like, this bitch eat pussy. A lot of these women that's out here talking shit about them hate men themselves. Though that's what I'm saying. A lot of them just hate men. You got to motherfucking know. He did say if you're over 35 and single, you're a left Left over woman. Say that. I mean, like, this is this is this is the contradiction I have with that. Mm-hmm. There's more women than men. There's no way every woman can have a man. Uh it, it's impossible. To they have to share us. I, I looked up recently. Uh, I think we are the BBC yeah. clips of I think we're more. Kevin Samuels was no, chopped you. up to make him Hitting appear gay. He was getting on the dude for wanting a top-notch beautiful woman. But he was living in his mama's basement and working a minimum wage job. D, D, this for you. The number of men and women in the world. He was asking about that man, Dick. Dick. Oh, and let me tell you something. Niggas don't be doing that in Dick. What your Dick look in like, shit? In the world. Say it again, Marcus. My bad. The number of men and women in the world is roughly equal, though men hold a slight lead with 102 men for 100 women in 2020. More precisely, out of 1,000 people, 504 are men. 50.4% and 40, 496 are women, 49.6%. I don't know when it changed. But. Okay, look, it's so still, you see that information you got? There's still mm-hmm. more men. You hold on to it. Yeah. But we had a nigga come on this show talking about numbers. numbers. <laughs> All that shit y'all new generation read, stop, mm. stop holding that shit up like it's everything. Them numbers don't mean shit when you can get ran out of L.A. by a nigga smaller than you. I'm that kind of nigga. I put it on blast. When you get ran out of a city by a nigga smaller than you, you can't tell me shit no more. You got to whoop somebody ass in life. You going to get in a fight in life. Why not fight the nigga that's smaller? I know that's your man, but I'm just saying. I talked to him about it. How you let a nigga run you out of L.A. and say anything but that's what happened? Nigga, that ain't... If you're not a real motherfucker, you gon' hate me. If you're the type of motherfucker who hide the truth, hide who you are by talking around it and everything, you're going to hate me. Because I know what happened. Everybody told me what happened. I wasn't there. I didn't even want to believe it at first. I was like, that ain't happened. Look at them numbers, all that shit ain't nothing. Real life. Is everything. And in real life, you're going to get hit with situations where you got to handle your business, even if you take an L. If you ain't no man, them numbers ain't shit. Can a motherfucker walk up to you and slap you on stage, Mark? Nah, hell no. I'm saying, like, I believe you no, when you say that. no fucking consequences. If I'm he, saying, if, if he a, can if, up it, if he, if he can, if he can he catch 16? me on I wouldn't give a goddamn if it was 7 so 12, word, nigga. Attempt, we got to attempt. do some yeah. strange shit. And my, man, let me tell you something, man. I be praying to God I don't pop one of these motherfuckers, man. I be like, God, please don't never let me have to do this. But I know I live with frustrations from being on this planet all this time 
And I be wanting to stand over a hater posing. That's going to be the ultimate selfie. If I had to pop one of these motherfuckers, I'm taking a selfie with that motherfucker. <laughs> one, thing, one, thing about me, one thing about me, Cole, man. I, man, win, lose, or draw, man. I'm going to go. I, I mean, I, I, I can accept defeat, though. You know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker... If a motherfucker got over on me, motherfucker got over on me. But boy, he gonna have a hell of a fight on his hand, boy. Cause I'm, I'm I, I feel you, my nigga. I, I got. And, and, a and dog. guess what? I don't just feel you. I believe you. Yeah. It's something about when you graduate to manhood, and I'm not saying if you a coward right now, you can't graduate to manhood because life gonna kick your ass to the point where you ain't gonna take no shorts from no motherfucker after a while. Right. You gonna be like, man, look, I, I, I ain't finna let that go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, man, about this motherfucking cold-ass motherfucking game out here, we never hold bitches accountable for being bitches. We smile with them and be phony with them. Because sometimes it be your kinfolk. Oh, I'm finna say, not, more, not, not my hoe, my hoe. I'm gonna, you don't know what the fuck going on right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gonna get what? the guy on the truth right out here, goddamn it. Hey. Hey, man, look, I ain't trying to talk shit about no motherfucker for real, but I'm just here to let you know, man, in this motherfucker world, dog, you got to handle your business. And sometimes handling your business is looking a bit straight in her face and tell her, you ain't shit, bitch, and you ain't never done shit to help nobody. You ain't help nobody get up. You only help motherfuckers get down. I know bitches that I care about that this is the description of them. And when I tell them that, they get mad. They try to set me up. All that shit, but I'm not finna be around you and not tell you who you are. These bitches on the internet who was talking shit about that man as he passed are some ain't shit bitches. And since Vivica Fox wanna say he got what he deserved, bitch, your face is fucked. You look like a fucking idiot. Did anybody tell you that? No, because them bitches you hang with smile with you and be phony with you. I know the bitches you hang with. They smile with you and be phony with you. The only motherfucker, look, I know bitches that kick up dust all day long. The only motherfuckers who ass they kiss is they boss at work. They boss at work can't say nothing wrong to them. But everybody else, they check them. I wonder what, what she, if she really feel like that surgery is old point. If she really feel confident in that surgery, you know, like when, she, when he was through, when she looked at it, she, when she was like, oh, I love this shit. Damn, this shit fucked up. She looked just like that dude you said. What is the, what's the? Jigsaw. Oh, Jigsaw. Yeah, but I'm saying, because some people. Some face people, the facts. That's the face thing. your face, bitch. <laughs> and that's the, that's the thing. Some people don't know how to properly self-assess. And she might be one of those. Or she just. Choose to walk around with the delusion. You know what I mean? I'm disappointed. And I think he, I, he I checked, like, a, he checked I, I a lot like of women that she had the delusion. Me, but I'm disappointed. And that's what they don't like. That's what they didn't like. He, a lot of women was just, they just had this delusion that they were supposed to be, you know, deserve this, or they supposed to get this, and just because they got this. Or, you know what I mean? It was bitches that was foes coming on that motherfucker. Like, I want me a nigga that's a 10, got six figures. On what? And, it's on, on his show. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I want a nigga that's 10, got six figures, body right, stay in the gym. She's that fat. shit had to be that's set up, I think. Yeah, that is set up. Uh. It, it's just like, why these bitches sitting up here talking to a man and they know they ain't shit? Like, even, even like, I'm saying bitches know they ain't shit because they was talking shit about the man when he passed. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't say nothing directly to them, but they all knew they fit the description of the ain't shit bitch that he was talking about. Yeah. I know bitches every day they got selfies of they self with glamour shots. But see, niggas every like, day it's a new glamour shot of they self. No, and I'll be like, filters is what they call them. What the fuck or, is this bitch doing every day taking a picture of herself and we supposed to believe this story? But niggas is feeding the delusion. And women, and women too. Uh, niggas is, well, niggas and women feeding the delusion. Like, it'd be a big. I, I didn't see. Like I didn't see you bitches sloppy them. fat on the internet. I'm talking about big nasty I motherfuckers. See what he say about that? The big nasty motherfuckers and niggas be like, ooh, woo, in the comment. Look at that. Look at all that boy. Whoa, whoa, boy, that's a BBW right there. That's can a, I can I give him a Kevin Samuels moment? <laughs> Go ahead. 
Y'all heard what Marcus said? Let me tell y'all ladies something out there. Don't nobody want you bitches. Niggas want to fuck you hoes. Niggas know you ain't shit. Niggas know. We look at you on the internet. This is the average internet face bitch. (laughs) Same how could. You ain't shit, bitch. You ain't nothing but a hole that we want to jump in and out of. Same word, couple Marcus. He said the same thing when we walked in. What happened? They said Marcus would be a couple matching. I, I don't think a lot of them can it's the same purpose. I don't think a lot of them can do can uh separate that. I don't think they can differentiate the the, the you, fact that you fool young motherfuckers. The young brother who played for the Houston Texas now has been traded to the to the to the um Cleveland Browns. He didn't know. He thought that he was a a a, a motherfucker above these bitches. He thought he was above the bitches. I'm not talking about the brother because I know he a good brother because he gave his paychecks to the staff in Houston when he first got some money. He gave gave his first two paychecks to the people who work in the cafeteria and everything. Oh, when COVID hit, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I I remember. uh, You ain't ain't heard this brought up, have you? Nope. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave his first two paychecks to the people who work in the shit because it was stadium. fucked up out right. here. Mm-hmm. But hoes off the internet said he did what? He didn't rape the bitches. Let's say he showed himself. What did he do? They said they said that he showed himself to the to the cafeteria. The hoes was there giving no, him a massage. No, oh, no. <laughs> they say I gave him some money. I had him to show no, you the dick. Not now. to the work. Well, that'll be a <laughs> no, double that's... bonus. <laughs> He work in the cafeteria. No. I'm over in the cafeteria. Like, yeah, are you talking about, about the ones with the masseuse? I think he hired some somebody to do, right? Am I, is that the same guy? He hired the bitches to give him massages. Massages. Okay. Why do you think the bitches gave him massage? Do you think they would massage Marcus? If he had the money. What you Thank know? you, D. D said if he had the no, money. No, well, was paying him. That's why they went there. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. No, but he was paying them. Real Claw Swab say my hair look like a sandcastle. Fuck you, nigga. (laughs) Look, Deshaun Watson had that paper. So them hoes go come. If you got paper, bitches are coming. He found out the hard way. You can't fuck with these bitches. So they, you got to have supervised visits with bitches when you got money. You got to have a witness there letting the bitch in, letting the bitch explain to what is happening. You can, you ain't got no one-on-one with no bitches. Do you know how many niggas found out the hard way? Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul. And he was already in the game for a minute. This guy Kobe was Kobe Bryant thought he could fuck a bitch and not pay her. Because he was over there in France. Oh. He didn't grow up on the streets of motherfucking USA. Kobe thought he could, he because Kobe was the shit. Mm-hmm. He was already playing for a while, wasn't he, when that happened? He was the shit. Come on now, dude. Oh, okay, I see Kobe was the okay. shit. No, yeah. He thought he didn't have to pay the hoe. So when the hoe left with empty pockets, ask Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, young Mike Tyson thought he could leave without paying the hoe. Mm, what are you talking about? No, I thought she said. Lady I, Rose? No, no oh, the, woman that, that. the woman that sued him, the reason why he went to uh, to jail. Oh, right? okay, okay, okay. No, apparently what I thought, remember, the old the case was that that they a lot of people had found out that she, it seemed like she had gotten or felt disrespected because he didn't walk her to the car. No shit. Mike Tyson caught a rape in a hotel room. At night, how the fuck do you do that? You caught the, he caught the case because he didn't pay the whore. Now I'm not talking shit about brother Mike. Brother Mike, you know what I'm saying? He paid his dues for that and a lot of other shit. But if Mike, I bet if he could say it all over, I should have paid the whore. 
When you around these hoes and you got money, it costs money. You don't know that? You don't know that? It costs money to be around these hoes, man. You got to tip the hoes. All you young niggas, if you don't know that, man, trust a nigga. They gonna say I'm wrong, they gonna say all that. If you out here fucking random bitches, you got to tip the hoes. I want to know the full story on that Deshaun. So did so did he have had him come to his room? They were at his house. They were at, at his, his house. house. They were all kind of places. He was getting massages. But look at the history of these hoes. Man, he ain't got no cameras in his house. I don't know what he got in his house. He motherfucking. I'm he putting got cameras in. Oh, do I get that paper? Paper? I'm putting cameras everywhere in my house. He wasn't house. charged with no rape. What are you gonna charge with? Sucker shit. Was he ever the bitch said. Him? Exposed himself to me, and now I can't do this anymore. No, no tears came out the whole eye. Oh, uh, so he didn't indecent exposure. All that sucker shit. But when you I get money, they outside. tax you for it. What's his name again? Then, the because he a good brother, the man signed that gorilla contract in motherfucking Cleveland, where he get money guaranteed. So you hoes, whatever y'all did, that little money y'all gonna get, cause that that's what's gonna happen. Y'all lost the case. Y'all tried to put that motherfucking criminal activity in his motherfucking bag, but it didn't work. So you hoes got to settle for the crumbs that y'all motherfucking get. Good for you, bitch. You got the man fucked up. You put a jacket on him like he's some motherfucker who bogus. I mean, I'd tell him, nigga, if you showed your dick to these bitches, you was out of pocket. Yeah. You rich. You can't show your dick to bitches. Marcus, you can show your passion to any <laughs> of these bitches. <laughs> them bitches gonna be like, boy, you stupid. Uh, uh, they gonna say that. Well, what they gonna say? Boy, <laughs> it was it was in. You got it, boy. <laughs> it was inappropriate conduct and sexual assault. Oh, he all them sexual assaults got thrown out. All of them. Damn, and he had a lot. The hey, first man. Three. All of them. They came up with twenty two bitches who said he assaulted them. That's what happened, Deshaun, when you fuck with hoes unsupervised. You have to degrade the bitches and have them basically sign in. Even if it's a bitch, you got working with you, be like, hey, girl, come on in. Now, you know what's up. He wants you to rub his dick and get the fuck out, bitch. Oh, my God. You got to have a motherfucking real bitch on payroll talking to the hoes. You ain't supposed to do nothing but lay back in the room like you going to lay back and let the hoe do what she supposed to do. Don't guess. Them hoes don't love you. Them hoes don't love nothing. They kill their kids. Bitches kill their kids and call it abortion because it sounds better than, I don't want this baby. I don't want to have to deal with this baby. But if a man is not around a baby, they, they, they label him as a deadbeat. Every bitch who has a motherfucking abortion should be labeled as a dead bringer. You brought death to dead. your own seed, raggedy bitch. Dead meat. Shut the fuck up talking to me about that bullshit, bitch. You better motherfucking face the mirror one day. Damn, that was they call, it, they call them dead meat. They call them dead meat. 22 civil suits. That's a 22 lot. 22 civil suits. That's called hustle suits. Yeah, because that's money. They're trying to get it. And the shit y'all going to settle out for ain't going to be shit. Because y'all all some unrepresented bullshit, bitch. 22 civil suits. That one lawyer that came with y'all, he lost yeah. in court. You know what that tell me? If he lost all that shit in court, that means Deshaun Watson lawyer had more power than the other lawyer. Because it's all about power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Kardashians beat Black China because they got power in the court. Shit, they got a motherfucking man that dare you to call him a man. You got to be careful as fuck how you move to get that paper, boy. You get that paper, dog. You're not a regular human being. That's yeah. why I be trying to tell you. When I went to the spot last night with y'all, didn't I get the fuck up out of that before it let out? <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all. I had Corey in the spot last night. I had Corey in the, in the uh, club, the little karaoke joint. Hey. <laughs> I went in there for a little while. I saw my homie Lil Rail. Lil Rail once Aww, again. Lil Congratulations on everything, Lil Bro. Man, you, you motherfucking the homie of America since that motherfucking movie. Um, what's the shit? Get Out. Get yeah, Out. That was a you America's homeboy. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I like I like being in the atmosphere sometimes, but I can't just be standing around because once I get recognized, I might get set up. I ain't got no paper like them athletes. I ain't got no money like that. But these bitches out here just got off the Greyhound two weeks ago. They looking for a lick. Oh, my goodness. 
I can't be exposed to that shit like that. Them hoes, them hoes will try to get me. And I'm only human. I mean, I'm a lot older than I used to be, so I don't just go around fucking a random bitch because she cute. But I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the crack house. That's you get what I'm saying, Marcus? That's what I'm gathering my community, right? <laughs> y'all, be, y'all be like, Corey, come on out. I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, Pookie, you should be calling me. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be. Hey, y'all should see them dancing. No, he, 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 he was like caught to the dance. <laughs> Oh, he was dancing? Yeah, he was dancing. I was dancing to myself. <laughs> I was in the Hollywood. boy. Yeah, that's what I'm gathering my community right now. My look, my look, my whole community. I'm gathering it right now. So I already be prepared. You know what I'm saying? When 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 that when that paper hit, when that paper hit, I got my people. You got your crew. I got oh, my yeah. people. And I'm and you know, I, oh, I'm getting some. You see, you see me. Tiffany D. Coates. Nobody setting you up, Corey. You don't know. You come on over here. I seen that picture of you. you Should a picture of how you really look, goddamn. You oh. seen me last night, Cole. You seen me. Marcus had on motherfucking the straight outfit. Sibity Sam was shooting that motherfucking. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Sam. It was a nigga in the club had a hat older than Marcus. Yeah. I, that's why you stood by that, that nigga. That nigga had a picnic table hat, nigga. That nigga that had nigga. one of them motherfucking Ooh. hats they sing. Uh, they harmonize at the carnival. Oh, <laughs> that nigga was like he was gonna do the uh the national anthem with that hat, nigga. That nigga was hollering at the same bitch you was hollering at, nigga. Hey. Uh oh, not again, but, Jesus! But, but you ain't see me. That's the hat, bitch. But you ain't see me. She like the other hey. guy had a hat too. It was a hat competition. Oh, hey. a hat. When Marcus left, that nigga came over there like. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> said we had a hat off because me and the nigga looked at each other like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you start touching. Me. No, hey, I, but I picked up. Boy, it was over after I did this. I picked you up. You can't do that now. What? She can. She, oh, she knowingly. Okay. I grabbed. I grabbed because she cocked the leg up. Ooh, I don't want to go. Marcus can pick a bitch up because okay. he not, let Deshaun Watson pick a bitch up. <laughs> I saw that. That <laughs> motherfucker going. Out to my D. Oh she was caught. D. She was. He hurt cold. my back and I was scared I'm to say something. Fine as E. Motherfucker. Look. She okay. caught the leg up right there. I said, oh, I saw you, you say the bitch was fine. You know, I I was on some nice guy shit. I never tried. I wanted to look over there and see how she looked. Yeah. When you said that. Yeah. I couldn't see her. You couldn't see her? So I got to just let you say, if you say the bitch, fine, the bitch was fine. fine, Cole. I'm trying to tell you. She tried to cover it up. With, you oh, know what my God. Hey, she cocked that leg up. You, you were not when this happened. She cocked that leg up. I said, okay, you with this shit. They still so, I that? Picked that, so I picked the other leg up. Uh-oh, they're still doing hey, boy, that. Hey, look, I got the freaking look like this. She told the homegirl, she said, hold my shit. Uh-oh. Yeah, the shit, boy. That motherfucker got the what? Hey, boy, I got the cut up in that Where'd thing, boy. Where'd she put boy, her hand? Huh? Did she put her hand? She rolled it. She I didn't see it. all this. Yeah, you wasn't up for that. What? Ask Craig. Ain't, well, ain't that a coincidence? I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> she was there. Before I left, boy, was these two bitches. They took their panties off. <laughs> Let me fuck up in the ass right in front of the club. <laughs> you wasn't there for that, though. <laughs> 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 As Craig, Craig cool, Fax was in there. Craig Fax was in that motherfucker. Big Craig. <laughs> Craig, let me tell you something, boy. If you get fat, nigga. Oh, he on his way. I'm at your age. Yeah. What is happening? Craig was nigga. Too, Craig starting to carry a kick. Kid <laughs> Craig. Oh, God, let's get a kid smilk. Kid smilk, you ain't shit. Not KK, we're KK at. Not KK. God dang it. Oh, Craig, he go to the gym. He fight it off real good. Jeez. But. You have a hard time. That jacket last night, boy, that, that last button was like. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had to hold his breath with that jacket, nigga. That jacket, boy. That jacket was shit. That nigga had a skin tight jacket. He said, I'm impressed. No, I was just saying, Marcus, he said that the girl was all up on his hip. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was up there. So she was a very big girl. Of course, this happened. No, she wasn't she wasn't okay. This happened when I left, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, Cole, you I always, always miss the shit. Out. You ain't want to stay for all the festivities, man. You ain't want to see what will go. You ain't want to see me, really. You see me, you see me moving because I was gathering. You know what I'm saying? I was studying, watching the scene, see how I'm finna move. But she, you had to get, you, you left. It was, it was not too long after you left. Nothing. I can't. He, what? He's gonna get mad at me. 
Marcus. Hey, Corey, low key. Uh, what? Low key put on a clean. What? Put on put, clean with Low key hoodie. put on clean with that hoodie. Fire. Right. Oh, yeah. If you know, you know. It ain't cheap. Oh, it ain't yeah. cheap. Mm -hmm. Now, these motherfuckers don't even know what I be wearing, man. These motherfuckers, that, yeah, respect. Yeah, that nigga had a, that nigga had a Elvis knows. jacket on last night. I'm pretty sure that motherfucker called. All them hoes at that club wanted me, boy. Yeah. That nigga ain't nobody you say that to you. Well, you see that ain't shit? nobody say oh, that to you. You see this shit, Look, nigga? Wait, this one did you, you have the hair This one everybody was gonna be bothered. They, oh. didn't even, they was like, "Look at this old nigga at the club." He Is that said cool he had the haircut last night. What? Oh, love me, man. I just don't be saying shit. <laughs> I don't be saying shit because I'm a regular nigga. I just be like, all right. I be fucking all y'all hoes. <laughs> when I come to y'all city, dog. I'll be fucking y'all hoes. No, I'm just saying. Oh <laughs> but y'all hoes want me. I just don't never say nothing. Bitches like me, man. Even when I was fat. Because your, your face matched your body when you was fat. <laughs> oh, he's you, saying that you're you, slender you now. Well. You, you was, was, was blending well. You was blending well. You see, I'm going down a little bit. Just wait. Give me a couple more weeks, boy. You're going to be bad as hell. You're going to be in hell. Be looking like Nail in this one. I did lost about three pounds, go. About three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I didn't cut that hair. I think you'd have lost I, weight. I know I'm losing weight when my face started looking long. I mean, it, oh, it, it, it is long. The my nickname when I was young was Long. My uh -huh. mother was like, hey, Long. Uh -huh. Come here, Long. Yeah. Was not. Yeah, well, what? nickname. That's my mother. You know, I said this 20 times on the show, darling. You don't be listening to nothing. Listen to everything. How was I gonna miss that? Well, y'all, y'all don't be remembering nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all remember nothing but that. I agree with that. Remember, about me. Ray Tools. I got the Jermaine Jackson. Oh, cut. I that's what it is. Why <laughs> <laughs> don't they play what they played on? The <laughs> oh, oh, my that's the no, Jermaine. My right favorite there. Jermaine Jackson song of all time. Come on. What is it? Let's get serious. That's okay. the shit. Let's get serious. Let's get serious and fall in love. Oh, that's him? Yes. I didn't know that was him. I didn't know he even had a hit. O-U-N. Oh, my God. That's Brother the song. Brother Tough Love, thanks for the phone. Oh, that's my. That's my that on. I'm going to say I lost weight in my teeth. That's my. Hey, bro. Oh. Talk, fuck you, nigga. Who said that? That's terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Corey lost weight in his teeth. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, his, his teeth look bigger when he lost that weight. <laughs> no, fuck you, nigga. Wait, what Why motherfucker keep saying I look like the old Uma? What is that shit? I look Dr. like Umar. that nigga. Dr. Uma. <laughs> Uh, you do like Dr. Umar, though. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, you more like pediatrician. Yo, uh oh, that got to feel a little chuckle. <laughs> that got to feel a little chuckle. <laughs> I get up for pediatrician. I'm going to open a 5150 school. <laughs> It's gonna be the pan fried African. School. Now I'm looking at <laughs> the pan, the pan fried, pan seared, the pan, pan seared, seared pan seared fish school, pan seared chicken academy. <laughs> no, you see, you see, it? you see, it? <laughs> hey, man, Doctor Omar. Oh. I'm just out hitting my dumbbells too, dog. Next week we doing a video, not a video. We are gonna have a special guest up here, oh. and she gonna sing. My man Charles Moody gonna sing. And I'm going to sing, and we're going to set this shit up. It's going to be some dope shit, because I wrote a song, man, and I just think it's dope as shit. You could have found some You could have found some singers up at the karaoke last No, night. the homegirl from the crib, Lady Like, coming through this motherfucker. Okay. Is that the one that was on uh, here that one time? Yeah, uh, that time when the, we had the shit at the, at, at the homeboy apartment. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. But this time, we're going to have it a little more motherfucking goddammit, yeah, that, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she gonna somebody, sing. Somebody's birthday's coming up. Whose birthday coming up? It's May. Corey's in June. Oh, my birthday in June. June 23rd. That shit on the internet they got, that's some fuck shit. You can oh. change that, Corey. You know that's that, that same shit Marcus read. <laughs> <laughs> but you can change that. You I ain't trying to change it. I ain't put it up there. You don't want your real birthday? Corey on the Pez dispenser side of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't read his name. My, mine July 26th, so mine a month. That was cold. Uh oh. You know Corey, you're a counselor, ain't you? You could have a combo one. Let's have one right in between for both of you guys. Yeah, Corey, you're old counsel. Yeah. yeah you, 
couldn't make it to that Leo. Them, more, them the warriors right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the warriors right there, the king of the jungle. Them the king. Oh. Anyway, we're going to go on here and get into the motherfucking part of the show where everything slows the fuck down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. D screw. Right. <laughs> Darlene's loose talk, talk about. about Bullshit. Bullshit. Why, thank you very much, guys. So, uh, the. Dr. Umar, nigga, get you know the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, that hurt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I told you the pediatrician, Umar, nigga. Wait, hold on. Wait. Call my phone now. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Go ahead. Anyway, so it's the end of the Netflix uh, a festival, a comedy festival all week. Netflix is a joke. It's uh, over with. The city was packed with uh, comedians from all over the place. And, and that was really nice. Um, I, was I went to the sold out, you know, historical Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias at what the Dodger it? Stadium. Dodgers. Okay. He oh, out shit. No, he was the first comedian to ever sell out the Dodger Stadium. Actually, Fluffy! Yeah, actually had to add Gabe, a show on Friday. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations, Gabe. That's epic. That's, who, did, that who, did, who did that show with him? Um, it's his show. It was his show, but he put on all these other co- comedians. The only other, um, the only other co- comedian other than the other Latino ones was uh, Sherry Shepard. Okay. She came out and she did a really she great thing. Had the whole play. work in. Yeah. So she came out and did he did some things. Said they, they've been Big friends. Show. So, <laughs> stop. Said they've been friends Joking, for a long Sherry. time. So anyway, it was great. I, I, we were just so thrilled to even be there. Um, it was incredible. He even had the uh, Goodyear blimp. With his face and stuff coming up. I love it, Gabe. It was amazing. Gabe, you know, I remember when it was motherfucking a plant growing. Now you the motherfucking turned into the big ass tree off the motherfucking uh what's that what's that what? Oz- Azar? I mean with the with the people they turn into them things that we waiting on the second one to come out. I gotta get this right. Huh? Avatar. There uh, you go. Look now you the you. tree on Avatar, uh, motherfucking Gabe. Yeah. Know, that's a big shit what you did. That's yeah. epic. That, that, that man it was Cracking. Remember when we night. left here? Well, that's when we got the news that motherfucker ran up on the stage. Oh, I was yeah, just gonna. Yeah. I was just gonna. Leave I met a. Ahead, I dude. met a. T- I met a dude um, from uh, the Laugh Factory in Chicago. He 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 recognized me. He, he I guess he run the Laugh Factory in Chicago. He told me come out there, man. Fuck with him out there at the Laugh Factory. So I'm going out there to Chicago. That's what's and, up, uh, man. What was you saying, D? Oh, anyway, I was gonna. Uh, Kind of just chime on that Dave Chappelle attack because, uh, of course, it happened during his shows for that festival all week um, at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, so Netflix did confirm, no, they will not be trying to air that, um, the attack. Uh, that was recorded by a few people who, of course, were supposed to have their phones uh, locked up or, or, or not recording. Mm. Anyway, um, so they, the, the guy, Isaiah Lee, who's 23, uh, he was booked on a single felony and charge of assault at first. And so now Chappelle and his lawyers are a bit disappointed that they've now dropped him to misdemeanors. Um, they set his bail at 30000 And word is Chappelle and his lawyers, yeah, like they weren't very happy about that. But word is that uh, Chappelle went on another night someplace else and was telling the audience that he wanted to talk to the guy. That he actually, I don't know if any of this is true or not, but that's what they're saying, that that he said that he went and talked to the guy, and the guy actually said that it was supposed to just be, but then we find out the guy is, of course, you know, cuckoo, um, that he wanted to bring light or um, he wanted to bring attention to the issue of his grandmother's home in Brooklyn being uh, uh, <laughs> taken over by gentrification. So everybody was like, what? And then come to find out, a lot of people in the neighborhood that the last place he stayed at with his brother, all the neighbors are saying, oh, no, that guy is, he's gone. Cops used to be there every weekend. He was a mess. So who knows? But anyway. I don't give a fuck what. Them motherfuckers, when they got through with him, it looked like he was doing the funky chicken. Okay. His arm was broke when he was he locked, like, locked up. He looked like Miss Potato Head. They took, you know, they take the parts from him and then they put right. his arms in the wrong spot. He, he, he also, he also <laughs> was making jokes about it. So, of course, you know, a professional. Uh, so Chappelle said that he joked with Chris Rock saying, <laughs> next night saying that uh at least you got smacked by someone of repute talking about will smith i got smacked by a homeless guy with leaves in his hair so so chappelle just continued to keep going um and it was it was pretty it was pretty pretty sad but yeah there's pictures did i send you the pictures i did yeah right here oh there's one of that that gun that thing was wow and they what they said was the reason why they weren't the judge said the reason why he cannot legally 
uh, keep it as a felony is because it wasn't out. He didn't have it in his hand, and it wasn't locked with the knife out. So. Boy, they boy, they boy, they boy like. Boy, boy, woo. Yeah. That boy look like Humpty Dump. They put his leg where his yeah, arm's supposed is. to go. So that's the thing. So that's the thing they found on him. So, yeah. Well, I don't know what to say about that, man, so except crazy. I'm glad Chappelle is all right. And I'm glad old boy got the pumpkin head that he deserved. Man, they should have gave him more. If he was yeah. conscious, they didn't do what they supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they were tearing his ass up back there. Do, 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 do. And it wasn't true, the whole thing about Jamie Foxx and Buster Rhymes. That was a joke. Dave said he made some kind of joke. No, they, they were protecting his people. He did what he was supposed to do. Right, but they didn't, they didn't do that. You don't know they did. That's what they said. He of course they're going to say that. They, they, Everybody they backstage got, said that. They, they even said that. They got to. They got to protect their people. You mm -hmm. Don't be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just deluded. That's <laughs> why you sitting there explaining it to us. Oh, like, oh. This is the general public right here. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of where phones were supposed to be locked in places and not recording, <sighs> Jesse Williams, mm, he sure has they the say internet they trans too. super buzzing right now after. Who the fuck is that? Oh, Jesse Williams. Yes, he used to be on. We spoke about him before. Um, he did that speech for him. He's an actor. Yeah, he's, he's, he's behind a lot of great stuff. He's an actor. I should have known. He used to be on Grey's Anatomy. Movie. Of course I am. It's oh huge. Oh, God. Oh, see, about the black I'm minute. talking about the news. Oh my God, Marcus! Get you watch your what mind out say, of the gutter. You say, Get cool. your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, it's it's a big story. Anyway, the guy was just nominated for his first Tony Award, which is for acting in a play. So congrats to him. However, the same play that he's being nominated for, called Take Me Out, which is a performing on Broadway. It's about a gay baseball player. Him? That has, well, it's, it's been done before, and they did tell him, yes, there's full nude scenes in there. Well, he's the guy that does the full nude scenes. Now, nobody had seen it up until now. Somebody, they still haven't caught who did it, was in there videotaping. So they have posted it up, a full nude of him and photos. And anyway, it's making its rounds. Well, we, well this is what I don't understand. This man, is this the dude who says something about gay people on the TV show? Or no? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're talking about Isaiah right. okay, Washington. Okay, so now, who, yeah. who is this dude? You, we talked about this guy in his own hospital or something like that. He you was know, on Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. I, think, okay. I, think, I think Isaiah Washington, a 100 nigga. Like, I was, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, really nice guy. That's um, a gay man. Oh, God. Here we go. Of course, with Corey Sanger. Anyway, we spoke about his Basketball divorce from player. his wife because she was giving him a He playing a gay picture. baseball player? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This one. Anyway, um, no, no, I'm just saying that I'm just, my, my thing is that they're not, if it was a woman, oh, Lord, they would be going. <laughs> but they put this poor man's full nude boy, boy. body out. Hey man, you know he and ain't. And you know he has children. They but this was a, this man got this man. Still just got, seeing him trying to hit the ball. They're little. <laughs> they're really little, but but this stuff doesn't go away. I'm just saying, anyway. Hey, man, I don't even want to. This is the thing. This is the thing about this man. This man can. Oh. He got money. You know what I'm saying? This well, man got money. He ain't got to do this type shit. It's. Art. How you know it's he got it's money? Art. He man does, was on, he's uh, no, there, no, his wife has apparently taken a lot of his money. Matter of fact, he had to down, he had to cut, ask for a request, a down to downsize the amount because she's taking a lot of his money. And that man can get a lot of work in the acting industry. Man. Well, this is some good work that he's doing. It's a well, good part. I, uh, I he's playing a ball it player. I bet he it sure is. is. <laughs> It is. Lord, okay. I had to look at him because that's research. A gay baseball player. I had to player. see what everybody was talking about. I said about. foul ball. <laughs> with no fouls in that. No foul. When a man come to his house, what they yell? It's a hit. Everybody going to yell. Home run. <laughs> D, I, I, you, no, you D always find him. She he always she, she be trying to show little hints of that it's freak. It's a top. It's you a know top you're a freak, story. D. He always got a naked nigga story. You don't know that oh, about me. I wish I always did. Oh D. my goodness. D. Do you still go to the strip clubs? 
No, they. Oh, you used to go to well, Man's Strip Club? Sure, we oh, did. That was a lot of weird. fun back then. That they used shit, to call they us said, Hollywood. Every time we walked women, in, they said, Hollywood's women, here. Most women say they think that's some gay shit. They, they, they think them dudes be gay. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's just fun. Oh, you, you, oh yeah, don't, you don't mind no, don't you don't mind no gay bubble. man slapping in meat. Don't bust the bubble. That's fun. It's so fun this is the, this is what you guys. this is what you motherfucker got to realize. As long as you famous, <laughs> D will look at your dick. If you not, <laughs> I, I had to do, do the research. Do not send your unfamous uh, dick. Hey, to I D. didn't. I didn't go to the. But if you famous, did 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 dick did dick watch you? Yeah. Oh brother, my goodness, I'm human. D be looking and for the And it was D. research. I had to look it up. Yeah, you gotta be Just don't before. do that right before you go to sleep, ladies. Lord. Just don't do oh, do oh. Now you wanna tell us how about you how you taking yourself. Not. Yeah, you're doing saying. a lot tonight. It you just, got the passion, it, Mark. It hurt. <laughs> it, it hurt. It was on my mind. It was on my mind. Oh, I couldn't sleep. Be if we're doing soft sleep. porn. It was kinda <laughs> scary. It was kinda scary. I couldn't sleep. Because he got the pictures. She got the real pictures. Yeah. She got those pictures. Be with DJ. <laughs> D was DJing when well, she I'll seen that you, picture. I'll tell you one <laughs> thing. <laughs> she was doing that. Uh, if Some I'm in New York, I'll go I see that play. I would like to support him. I feel Fuck bad. Fuck you, nigga. I feel bad. Oh, now. man. If D. I'm in New York City, I would go see it. It's probably selling out now. Anyway. Oh, man. Oh, that's terrible. It's mm, sad. Man. The man didn't ask to have his stuff put out there. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> well, if you're naked on stage, you think anybody got to have pictures of this shit? They did. They didn't for a long time. They, they stayed, you know, the. Like if everybody who go to market show, they always try to get pictures of his armpits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, anyway, speaking, I was like, Stevie J, bless his heart. Now, remember the mess between Stevie J and Faith? Well, they're still going through their divorce. They're not legally divorced yet. Um, but as we know, it was Mother's Day on Sunday. And I don't know, a lot of people are doing stuff like this. But anyway, he used social media to send her a message, and uh, he's pretty much, pretty much begging. So he posted a picture, a cute picture of the two of them. Oh, thank you, Alfred. He took a picture of the two of them, posted it up on Mother's Day, and gave her a long, sweet, kind, I guess, message. He basically apologized to her for hurting her, disrespecting her, humiliating her in front of the world. He, these are actually his words. Um, and from this day forward, he says, he promises to listen to your feelings and be more delicate with your heart. Bitch, you don't feel, homie. Anyway, it, it's a long one. He, he, he stop. What the fuck? Oh, my God. We don't man. know. Oh. No. <laughs> we don't know this. What? Um, he also said that he learned his lesson and never wants to live without her because God knows that he's a better man. Without, without her, he's asking to find it in her heart to forgive him. Huh. So I guess people are using the internet for stuff like that. But I don't know if it reached her or whatever. But anyway, that's what... He did on um, Mother's Day message to her. Now, it was just in March where he was conducting a Zoom interview while everybody uh, pretty much thought, and it, it does look like it if you see it, um, that he was getting pleasured by a woman during the interview. That was just in March. So, anyway. Uh, Stevie J. Stevie J. Yeah, it was, it, that, you know, it was a story that went around. But anyway, who knows? So, we'll see. They're still technically legally married. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll get back. She'll come back, goddammit, if he got them goddammits. Maybe. Oh, you know what? <laughs> and the last thing is, I wanted to say, be careful. I don't know if any of you guys have heard about the new so-called hip thing that people with money and or celebrity are doing, and that's toad venom. If you're going to try it, um, make sure that you do it with, uh, somebody that knows exactly what they're doing with it, like a but shaman. Dear, people don't know what it is. You have to. Oh, I'm about to say it. Is. It's a it's a psychedelic hallucinogenic, and some people are comparing it, the benefits to it, to, to well, way better than shrooms and ayahuasca, which is some of the which is one of the things that Will Smith has done 13, like 14 times. Come on, when you go overseas and go yeah, to, um, and you, and you they, they give you this drink. Well, now this they smoke it. Even um, Mike Tyson has said that it is it made him feel it's changed his life. And that it, for him, he says that it makes you feel like you've died and were reborn. Not in a religious way, but just like is life. Is that the thing that uh, he des Will described in his book? Uh, no, Will talks about ayahuasca. Is D-Mike really that bad? He's talking to uh, Mike. I mean, Will Smith was talking about ayahuasca and... Um, 
Anyway, so uh, the, the, the venom, the toad venom, venom, it, the toad venom is, is um, milked, right? They milk it off the back. And some people actually are actually stealing these toads and trying to do it themselves. It's just they, they definitely advise don't do that because you don't know how much you're actually getting. So just be careful. But a lot of people are doing it. What the, what the professionals, I guess, do is they milk it, they dry it out in a, in a powder form, and they, people are smoking it. So anyway. Toad. Toad venom. Venom. Yeah, they say that it's changing a lot of things. It helps people with the So what's happening stuff. with the mics, man? Is the mic, can y'all hear it clear? Yeah, I think it's just about here. Yeah. Well, no, no, you got probably hair. Come over here. No, my hair's not on that side. Let everybody see who you are, Abe. Abe in the house. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go to a, a Spanish party. So be careful, you guys, if you guys are trying to try that. <laughs> he said, all right, darling, yeah. turn around. <laughs> what? Here, I don't have it on. Here. You can just bring it under there, D. Reach around and get it, D. Reach around, reach around. Reach around and get it, D. Y'all, did y'all hear that? Wait, where's the other one? Let's see. They say Marcus <laughs> looked like a first 48 detective. It's caught. It's caught. It's caught on the leg. Let's see it. All right, y'all. We trying to fix it, y'all. He's talking low because the I am wants her, I don't know, mm. fades out when speaking. Hello, hello, hello. Going in and out. That's, that's I, would, I would try it. I would try that yeah. or ayahuasca. Yeah. I wanted to try ayahuasca. Man, people trying to get too high it. out here, man. I don't what? understand it, man. What, what is it? I said people trying to get too high out here, man. I don't understand it, man. What you mean too high? Well, they said it's just stronger than shroom. What? The toad venom. Yeah, but it's like a one time. Let me ask you something. Would you take toad venom? No, sir. I would try it once. Okay. Well, yeah. why? Curiosity. Curiosity. You're the cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's silly. <laughs> no. I ain't doing no sucker shit. Oh, uh, I mean, you know, I just, a few people I mean, just, that I have tried it. Just so. why, though? I don't just, I just don't. It's not for you to understand. If you don't know why, then it's not for you. Don't do it. You don't know why. You just, yeah, you just like, you fuck just it. Ask I you why. No, you I said why. Know. I said because I want to. Because I just want to see what everybody's talking about. He, just like the oh, ayahuasca. Oh, that's why. Just like the trends. ayahuasca. You when follow the trends. No, not necessarily. I mean, really follow is. some trends. Like, we all do because that hat is trending stop. back. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this. I'm the trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's an hallucinogenic. Right, why not? Settle, you know what I'm saying? John Wayne fucked raw bitches in that head. <laughs> Plus, I just got some. Hey, you got Luther Vandross haircut, nigga. <laughs> Thank you, Dirty Birdie. He is fun. And, and also, I just want to say that I got some really good news, medical news this past, uh, last two days. So. You got your IUD yanked out? No, I never had an IUD in. Oh, okay. I had the thing. You had it out? I had the thing. I ain't never heard it with an N on it. I thought just IUD. No, N, inside. Oh, oh, go, go. N is the ones that's half price. I had the thing in my arm. Next, hold on. I don't even want to say the brand. But anyway, that was, I took that out weeks ago. But, so I don't need it. I'm a certain age. I told, I told the doctor, I was like, ooh, you better be telling the truth. So what do you, what, 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 what about it intrigued you, the toe venom? What intrigues me? Will the, did it. The, no, that was ayahuasca. I wanted to do that before even I heard Will did it. I wanted to try it before Will did it. Yeah, what, what's in, what intrigues you about the toad venom? You try shrooms, I'm, I'm sure. Uh-huh. Okay, you like yeah. shrooms? I've tried everything except, like, the real hard stuff. Like, I've never done cocaine. I've never done... Acid. Meth. I've never done... Yeah, I did acid. I did ask. That's hard. <laughs> not, to, not to me. I was in. I was in. Uh, that's hard. The I was in he said grade. I never did the hard shit. But that's yeah. not hard to me. I was I in tenth grade. One time. I did it one time. A tiny little piece. It was like that little. I can't believe we did it before school though. That was the problem. We shouldn't have did it then. But that was it. I've never that's done. Why you didn't finish else. school? Shut up. <laughs> did it in tenth grade. What <laughs> fuck? Be wondering what happened to him. Oh, <laughs> I survived is what said, I did. You said eggs are deviled. <laughs> yeah, they're scrambled, all right. So you like the shrooms, you say? No, they didn't even do anything to me. They ain't do nothing. No, what happened nope, with the health nothing. shit? Oh, just good news, just everything negative. I've, had, I've been having a lot of tests being done, and two very important ones came back 
negative. I am pretty darn healthy, knock on wood. Yeah. I have two more to do. Um, I said, darling, you just seize it. That's all. Yeah. Woo! Just I'm just thankful to be here. Yes, Lord, because I know too many people uh, younger than me that have passed away, didn't even make it, so. I'm yeah, good. I'm good. Three for the age you reach. I'm you know great. what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, me, yeah. 33. Yeah. You know, I got yeah. partners that didn't, didn't make when it. When I'm 75, I want to hear you know from you, Mark. I want to see what's up with you and see how you're doing. You know, holler at me at 75, D? No, I'm just saying I want to see how you're doing. Mark is going to be having on a coat with wet underarms under that motherfucker. Man, I'm going to be I'm like. I see how you're doing at my I'm, age. Right? I'm going to be like Hugh Hefner out here in these streets, man. Man, the quote. Say Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner out here in these streets. Cool, cool. Who Hefner? <laughs> <laughs> like you saying, who Hefner? <laughs> who ha? Got you all the trick. <laughs> That's what you look like, nigga. <laughs> what? Y'all, y'all gonna be, you gonna, you gonna be, you gonna, well, give Thank me. Thank you, Okay, what, what it is? What it is? Thank May? You, birdie, birdie. Give me a year from here. And watch, and, and, and. What's happening? I you am ready to party. You're gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna say, God, that, 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 that boy Mark is a monkey. Go to hair club for me and Mark. Oh, you gonna be so proud of me, boy. You gonna say, boy. That's a bad motherfucker. You don't need hair now. The markets don't need hair. No, a lot of guys, they can get away with it. Actually, you don't need yeah, hair. Dog. No. What if you get locked up and they don't let you cut it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Chico out here. You be looking like, what's the uh, I want to make sure it's grown like Chico. You see what Chico did? Who's Chico? Chico, Chico Bean? Bean? Yeah. Chico oh, he, he owns it. He crazy, Chico though. crazy he for that hair, boy. That's he, my nigga, though. Chico owns it. I love Chico. Chico don't give a fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, I'm going with that man. Like, I was like, man, I've been letting my shit just woof out. Bro. Hey, man, I don't, think, I don't even think mine will grow that much. Because it's, it's <laughs> shit. It's way back there, but it's, it's, it's you know what I mean? I think my shit will be sweet. patches. I don't think it's Chico out there looking like a St. Bernard. <laughs> All my 85 South niggas. I appreciate, I appreciate what y'all do in the game. What that man say? Out there and fuck with him, Cole. What that man say weeds. Psychoactive properties are its attempt to defend itself against natural predators in the wild. We already eat honey. Do you throw up and huff it for asthma relief? Code ain't too far away. Say exactly, Akari King. Yeah. Okay. Teach me something, then. Yeah, see, it's not that. Well, he's thinking of high Show stuff. Show D-Ray face ass out of here. I don't do no weed. I don't do any of that stuff. Akari Nothing. So. Teach me something. I'm, I'm willing to learn, now. What's that, water? Water. I'm good, Phil. Cole, Cole, you need, man, you, know, you need to go on over there and fuck with them boys, man. I'm 85. What you mean? You, go on, go, you ain't been on there yet, have you? I'm going there. Yeah. yeah hey, come what's on that on caught there. up? Go on there and fuck with them guys. They're my homies, man. Yeah, those guys, those guys are cool. Good niggas, man. Mm-hmm. What they say? I know they love to see you. Somebody say how y'all feel about Kendrick Lamar Oh, they missed the beginning. We said it in the beginning, bro. Kendrick Lamar, lyrically, dog. What? What? See, what? had you not a cut your hair, it was close to his line. It was up there, the, the top. Oh, God. Look at Corey. Well, what the hell is that? <laughs> See, it's making him do some nigga, funny things. That nigga, they teeth loose. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, grill about to pop man. out on his ass. Boy. <laughs> My fucking Nail out of town. We got his little brother up here, God damn it. Young Nail in this motherfucker. What's your name again, little bro? Who? Idris, like Elba? Oh. Idris. Oh, your mom, yeah. your mom, had, your mom had a fit in. Yeah. Idris. <laughs> Idris wasn't known when he was born. Abe and Idris and Phil over there. Oh, you're a young boy. How, how, how are you? See? He thought Idris, he was a teenager. Idris Elba been out about. What? It's been a little minute. He's been, been around for, for 20? No. Daddy's little girls came out when? I don't know, motherfucker, but that ain't the know. first shit he did. Yeah, I'm saying, but that, that was that was damn that 20 years ago. Uh, Somebody said Corey's hair looked detachable. You know, these, these <laughs> years just passed me by, dude. Uh, that little girl came out 2007. He he had, he had some shit before then. I don't remember what it was, but he had some shit before then. Fuck y'all, uh-huh. man. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to bring up this other topic before we wrap this shit up, man, because... Hey boy, let me tell you something. In the BBC, he did something. I be motherfucking forgetting shit. Um, in the BBC, where I talked about the bitch doing cocaine, right? No. Who? Who? Is anybody? It, oh yeah, on the uh, stand. Idris, are you? Are you? Do you have any? Um, man, are, are your parents from Africa? What? Okay, I'm asking because I'm trying to find somebody from Africa because oh. I want to know this. Caitlyn Jenner got a Nigerian boyfriend. Mm. The nigga got a, a, a Nigerian boyfriend. 
And I want to know, like, in, is that, like, against the rules? What? Uh, there's got to be somebody in there. Remember, we had a couple people that were I was sending some stuff to for 50 and 50. Well, they probably told them, go get that money. He's actually in Africa. How they say it? <laughs> go get that money. No. Oh, yeah. they don't, I, don't, I don't think they accept that, right? <laughs> hey, well, your ex is dope. <laughs> He's working on it. He turned Africans to, to Marcus Jamaica. Marcus is working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Every accent I got to make it, nigga. <laughs> I think, I think, uh oh, you didn't kick my water over. Is that what that is? Yes. I think the Nigerians be like, go get that money. <laughs> you sound like close. a Jamaican. <laughs> go get that money. Ooh, yeah, that's more better, like it. Okay, I just like, I'm just having to hear it sometimes. That's better. the Nigerian girl's voice. I think I think my default is Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? I just got Somebody I said you mean Bruce. <laughs> Somebody said you mean Bruce. Go get that money. <laughs> That's that's more like Nigeria. <laughs> now, let's do Jamaican. Go get the money. <laughs> um. <laughs> that, that's, more, that's more Jamaican. Okay. Mexico. I mean uh, Spanish. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, like an essay? How you say go get that money in go, Spanish? Like go get that money in say. <laughs> Dinero, oh, sí. the dinero, baby. Mm. He didn't know. It's hey, dame, dame 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 dinero, dinero, sí. dame dame dinero, dinero, dinero. What say it again, D? Dame the dinero. Dame dinero, si. Give me money. Give me money. Si is yes. Right. Give me you money, yes. Si. No, you said yes for some reason. I said dame dinero, si. Okay. Yeah. You say what's your cash, yeah, Mr. Spanish? I don't know. Uh, cash, uh, cash people. Okay. Are we can't. We can't. You say cash people, <laughs> nigga. That's a that's a cash blanket, app nigga. Is- Shut That's up. a luxury blanket in Spanish. Cashipa. You should ask, what's his name? He's from Africa. Who? <laughs> Who from Africa? The comedian. Uh, uh, Godfrey. Godfrey. Cares to uh, Donato. He would tell us if they accept uh, that or not, which I doubt. They don't in Jamaica. Is, is there a way, Abe, to say this bitch pussy stank in Spanish? Oh, my God. <laughs> Este, este Pinocho huele fellow. Este Panoche está Pucci. You can say Pucci. Lavelle too. Crawford gave me two hundred dollars. I love you, Lavelle. Oh my God, Lavelle. Lavelle, Lavelle thanks, bro. Thanks, yeah. man. That's oh, my man. Lavelle. That, that, that she got me. Y'all said you two hundred, nigga. Yeah. Be happy. Use the word <laughs> Pucci. <laughs> They say chocha. Oh, no, you be the talking smell. that When something that smells now. bad, they go, oh, poochie, poochie. When something be- smells bad? bad. yes. That's puss? Get no. your poochie on your ass up, nigga. Oh, that sounds like, sound like Spanish version of pussy. Poochie, they say he's a panocha, which is what they, like a nick word, nickname word for it. That's, a, that's what? Panocha is. Yes. Oh, oh. How do you say that swallow like in a, Spanish? A flavored hot pocket. P-U-S-S-Y. What? We say swallow in Spanish. Swallow. Ain't no swallow in Spanish. Yes, there's gotta be. A hey, swallow. look at it up. <laughs> I don't even. Tragar. <laughs> say it again. Tragar. Tragar. Not got. Tragar. Tragar. Silence. Oh, obviously, you just gotta make the noise, you know. Un culo tragar. what? Uno culo tragar. Uh, 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 bitch swallow. One ass swallow. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's tossed salad in Spanish. <laughs> Not Pucci, Pucci with a P, Pucci. Yes, <laughs> yes, with your mouth covered. Pucci. No. Corey Gordo. Somebody said there's What is Gordo? What is fat. that? Fat. Hell no. He said, hell no. Nah. CJ Trio. Marcus got Down Syndrome. Corey oh, Microphone oh, Stink. Oh, oh. And Darlene Miss Priscilla. Oh. <laughs> Only one of them was right. Which one? Don't leave me. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I'm just glad that nobody said, um, what was that guy that used to be on Howard Stern? What? Beetlejuice. The side of his haircut. Oh, the dude got the Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You know he my head. I tossed <laughs> off in my <laughs> bed. He passed away. Who passed away? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, shit. 
Oh, that is That's definitely the haircut he's there. Take it up, Ma. All I got to do is take that hat off. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> World famous coin academy. Oh, and we got lots of women's gear. You got a duck right on your head. Oh, man, go Mac in this bitch. Oh, I got to put him up. We didn't take the break. Macca. Huh? What happened? Darn it. I said, what well, you I, didn't put up? I thought we were going to take a break, and I was going to. Oh, you stupid. Uh, hey, man, so how are we going to let the people know next week it's a special show where we doing a video at the end? We got to promote that shit during the week. Do we Do we promote shit on the page during the week? Well, let's do that shit this week. Promote the shit, mm -hmm. man. God damn it. Y'all let everybody know next week we doing this show called um, Daddy War. I mean, a song called oh, Daddy War. Tuesday? Yeah, this the Tuesday show. coming up, the 17th. I have somebody in town. We're going to sing this shit. Homegirl Lady Like and my man, Charles Moody. Anyway, dog, we finna wrap this shit up, man. I got to go get me something to eat. Fuck y'all, man. And everybody check out the uh, the store. <laughs> Abe, you can put that up. Uh, lots of 5150 female gear. So we finally have the 5150 female That's gear. That's purple you got on. Purple. And I did not know that Marcus was going to wear I didn't want to... See what you got on the one piece? It's two, it's two pieces, but I didn't want to. It's just too much. You got 50, 50, one, 50 on your and, back, too? Yeah, so you can see you can see them coming, and you can see them going. See? Right. Yay. And 5150 on the back. 5150. Yeah. Lots of colors, lots of colors, lots of styles. Yeah. Okay, out of breath fast on he that did. one. Yeah. But me and Marcus did not plan this. This was so cute. I walked oh, in, I was like, man. what? Marcus. Have a, who can say, who can say, yeah, the longest contest? Okay, ready? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah! <laughs> no, Lee! <laughs> no, motherfucker, I heard you breathe, man. Uh, nigga, you ain't breathing. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I outlast the breath. He said, hey, 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 I outlast I'm the real sang over here. Yes, the hats he will be back up tomorrow. No like By tomorrow afternoon, we got some more hats. I'm going to put them up. But all this new ladies' gear is nice. It'll be up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh -huh. Somebody say this show is so classy. <laughs> <laughs> what you showing off? You got some new sneaks? No, I've had these, but they kind of went with the with the color because oh, of the deep purple. Them. Yes, I've yeah, worn them before. You made fun of them. You made fun of them. You got them during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. stop! I did not. And you got, you got rich, I can you got, I can still get boys' shoes, so they're cheaper. You got rich white woman uh, hiking shoes. I wouldn't hike in these. No way. I said rich white woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't hike in these, though, if I was a rich woman. I'd have hiking boots. Silly. All right, motherfucker. Let me oh, tell you, motherfucker, something out there. And, uh, damn, why the fuck Basically. I keep blanking? In Toledo, Ohio. At the motherfucking Funny Bone this week. Get your tickets, dog. They gonna be gone, that room little. That shit gonna sell out. Go on, get your tickets. Use the credit card, motherfucker. Get the tickets, post the shit on the site, y'all. 5150 Corey Home going to be at Toledo this week. The tickets going to be gone by the time, of, I guarantee you, by the time Friday get here. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, the new, teeth, that's the new sound. That's the new sound. That's the new sound. Your patty cake on. That nigga sound like a squirrel eating. Squirrel eating. What, do you <laughs> what that nigga Craig said about your shoes last night. Wait, what? Craig got in something? <laughs> Craig great, had a good one. He's great, like, great, 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 great. They say you had on some great grass shoes. <laughs> great grass. Old ass shoes. <laughs> Craig said that nigga had on some great grass shoes. <laughs> you said you couldn't remember something. Somebody said you on that toad venom. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm going to be at the uh, Laugh Factory in Long Beach Saturday. You know what I'm saying? 930 show. Paula so. Bell on that show, ain't she? Yep. yep. She funny as a motherfucker. Paula Bell, what up? She God funny as a motherfucker. Yeah, you already yeah. know. She still got a boyfriend? I, I doubt know. it. Paula Bell, you ain't still with dude. I don't know. She be talking that shit, though. You allowed man. to talk, he gone. She be talking. She been she been in the game for a long time. Hell yeah, Paula Bell older than me, probably. Okay. Yeah, she funny, though. 
Yeah. I, I watched her. I was like, hey, that motherfucker, she, she had me going, boy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm doing that. Then you know, turn to the show, turn to the show tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfucker, say I look like Marmaduke. Mainstream <laughs> shit, man. M a n e s t r e a m mainstream tomorrow, man. You know, on my channel, you know Marcus. There you so go. go subscribe, baby. Come fool with me, man. If you cool with me, <laughs> it got the shoe up there. That's hilarious. But all <laughs> the new gear will be up. All the new gear will be up by tonight, and the hats tomorrow. I got to count them all. We got a whole new batch of the hats in. That's right, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Fuck with us, man. All y'all motherfuckers who be buying shit. Who's, what's some of the people who buy? Oh shit my first? gosh! I, I you know what? I, I should have made one this week, but um. Hey, you got you ain't, you ain't got no. Yeah. Hey, you got some instrumental for me as we walk up out this motherfucker. Send a shout out to the people who be fucking with us on the motherfucking goddamn. We won't it. say where you're from because I know that they be tripping on the motherfucking. Uh, Marcus Shivers, Reginald Simon, Donovan White Foster, Derek McCarter, Alexandria you Sturgeon. No, you just saying names, D. Let the music kick oh, you Oh, I, I forgot to give y'all this music I made for this shit. Well, there you go. But I'm just I saying. have to wait for the music then? It might take a while. It might take him a while. Okay, Alexandria is her name, Sturgeon. We're going to let him pick Appreciate up. Jermaine. Sam Robinson, Gerald, Gerald Million, Tamara Ballard, Kevin Bartley. Rudolph Pickett and Edward Jackson. Wow. Thanks. Really thanks Is for that. that. No, there's so many, but thank you Edward so much. Jackson in the Edward house. Jackson. How much he spend? A grip. He spent a grip. A lot. Edward Jackson. We want to thank you. No doubt. Who else? Petronia Sims. Petronia Sims. Thanks for being our friend. Kay Jones. Kay Jones. Way to get him on. Sean Wilkes. Sean Wilkes. Your mama on Stilks. Robert Jordan Jr. Mm-hmm. Robert mm-hmm. Jr. Robert Jordan Jr. Robert Jordan Jr. We're going to use you to come up. Victor Serrano. Victor Serrano. William Farrar. William Farrar. Eat a candy bar. Marvel Chambers. Marvel Chambers. Miguel Jones. It Miguel. goes on and on. This is the last. This is just the Miguel. last two Miguel. week. Jason White. Harvey Baker. Jason White. He married a dyke. Oh, these ordered the, the Trust God ones. I love it. Harvey Baker. Harvey Ashley Baker. Johnson. He wanted to trust God shit. Mm-hmm. Ashley Johnson, Juan Darrell. I mean, I can go on and on. This is the, we can the go last on two and weeks. On. Next week, we're going to have a special shout out to everybody who fuck with us. I'm going to make a little bullshit rap. Say your name in the motherfucking oh, game. Oh, that sounds nice. You dig what okay. I'm saying? I'll make you a list. That's Good. what's up. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys, for the support of the show. Appreciate it. Anything else anybody want to plug before we get the fuck up out of this mug? Man, you know, we put off. Mm-hmm. Go. House. Keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. Corey Holcomb, your mama, I'ma stroke him. When I come to your town with this hair, I poke him. Everybody be talking shit about the way I be dressing. Motherfucker, check it out. I don't be messing with you niggas that don't know I'm clean as hell. I fuck your sister and her pussy smell. Yeah. Don't poke the bear. You see his damn hair. He don't really care. Like a chap. Take that hat off. <laughs> Ain't nothing up there. No head all. The nigga skull bear. Big thick. Big thick. <laughs> Can't think of shit. <laughs> oh, bitch. Wet ass armpits that really stank. Every time I see you, I think all his shirts got to get washed after five minutes because it get all wet and gooey and funky when he up in it. Corey Holcomb, freestyling on the show. Hey. Your mama Bobby Holcomb, Jones. yeah. Leave me alone. You know your chin long. It's the damn song that I'm going to freestyle on. Riding on. I'm the one. Billy gone. Mm. Yeah, I'm on. Uh-oh. That nigga said my head look like the MGM lion. <laughs> oh, boy, don't get mad. <laughs> I'm trying to motherfucking <laughs> smooth as hell on the R&B side. <laughs> Talk that shit. Hey. My joke's gon' ride. He's here. Yeah, that's funky. Your hair look like a donkey. Hey. Fuck them honkies. Yo, my hair look like your skull upside down. There's a bump <laughs> on your chin, motherfucker. That's why you frown. Your Be hair in look- here with the purple and it's just popping. 
Marcus got on the purple, but his shit be dropping. Yeah. The value of the show, his shit got to go. Motherfucker. Yeah, everybody know. 51 in the house, dick in your mama mouth. Ooh. Check it out. I'm bringing all the haters down. Hey. Oh, it's on top of the dome, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. What's up? Hey, hey. Your hat look weird. Look like an upside down bird. And I heard. <laughs> I'll get that. <laughs> hey, man, you cut the beat on that shit. <laughs> this nigga, up. He fucked it up. Your rap worse than the beat. Oh, my God. <laughs> missing piece from a puzzle. What did it say? <laughs> what? That your hair looks like a missing piece from a puzzle. <laughs> That's a silly. That's a frown upside down. Corey got a Bart Simpson haircut. Okay. Oh. That, that works. Biz Mark Corey. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> oh, thanks, Torrance. That's sweet. Mm. Kick that shit, Corey. Yeah, these motherfuckers don't know what's up, dog. Mm. I'm going off the top of the dome. I'm saying these rhymes and going home. About to get it the fuck on. About to go to the grocery store and get something good to eat. So I live long. Everybody talking shit about your boy. But I'm your mama's favorite toy. I'm the nigga that show up in the middle of the night. Fucking all bitches, even all the crazy dykes. I don't give a fuck. See, Hulk about to stroke him. Uh-oh. Hey, you know I'm little the little chief. <laughs> the nigga Broke called him. like a black Zangief. <laughs> Zangief. <laughs> I don't know. 51 motherfucking 50. We up out this bitch, motherfucker. 150 ho. Live life. Yeah, we about to go. Never know when you're going to go. Let me out this damn thing uh, out the show. Cold. It's cold out there.